What's up guys, welcome to my second color grading tutorial for GH5. We're working today with the footage that's been shot by Luke Newman Films. I'm going to provide his link in the description and on screen for you guys. And in this tutorial I'm going to have a different approach from my first tutorial and I'm not going to be using any LUDs for this particular footage right over here. So let's start. My first note, as usual, I'm going to do noise reduction because I like working with a clean, good footage. We're going to do 2 and 10. Okay, and based on this footage, we have a moving camera. I want to create a moody, kind of dark, pre-rain, moody environment because we have clouds, we have wind, and basically everything suggesting that it's not really a comfortable environment over here. So I'm going to create a new node and I'm going to call this master. And in this master node, I'm going to create my own custom curve. I'm going to crush the blacks just like that. And even though there is no effect immediately here, but trust me, down the line you'll see. And over here, I'm going to crush bottom midtones, kind of like that. So we're going to move this master down the line. I'm going to create a new node. And in this node, I'm going to turn it into parallel mixer. So this node is going to be our sky node. And for the sky node, we have to be very careful because we have a lot of things in the foreground and in the background. So we can't really wiggle too much, but I'm going to try to use gradient mask just like this to add a little bit more moody feel to our shot right over here. So I'm going to dial it down slightly, kind of like this. Okay. And I'm going to Luma and I'm going to create a little Luma mask just like that. So the only thing is affected is the brightest areas. Okay. We do have a little bit of artifact over here. So the software will do it the less artifact we're gonna get okay perfect so let's check it out before and after before and after uh, from first glance it looks like a little difference but trust me it makes huge difference down the line and possibly what we can do we can add a little bit bluish color not too much but slightly so let's check it out before and after looks fantastic Okay, so now let's create this and let's call it look. Okay, and in the look, I kind of want to make the entire picture looks cold and a little grungy. So I'm going to add midtones all the way to the blue, just like this. And I'm going to dial a little bit of contrast. Okay, just like that. So so far that looks great and possibly I can make it even even darker so let's check it out before and after before and after okay I'm happy with the first initial result that we're getting so now I'm gonna create a new note and I'm gonna call this one focus and this one gonna be very very straightforward so I'm gonna add a little bit fatter just like that okay I'm going to track this okay we're gonna track backwards and then we're going to track forward Alright, let's make sure everything looks great. Okay. We can probably turn off perspective. Yeah, I guess we don't need perspective, so we're just going to keep it straight like this. Because we don't want our mask to be moving. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, perfect. So we have a good tracking mask. And what I'm going to do now, 
I'm gonna go over here to the blur panel to the mist and I'm gonna add a little bit of mist just like this and then I'm gonna go back to the mask and I'm going to invert it just like that and obviously we're gonna add a little bit more feather maybe like this that way we have more focus to our main character assuming that again we're doing color grading for film okay and we can actually dial it down we don't have to use the whole hundred percent okay very nice now just like in a previous tutorial I'm gonna show you how to change the color of the grass okay because the in my opinion grass is a little bit too green for this particular and what I'm gonna do is go to hue versus probably versus hue let's see how that's going to look okay so hue versus hue something like that okay let's have a good okay let's see to green okay something like this check it out before and after and we're gonna do a little 50% mix okay so we're done now for the parallel mixer I'm gonna move on I'm going to create a regular note and I'm going to convert this note right away into the layer mixer just like this and in the at the bottom node I'm going to individual RGB mixer individual channel and I'm gonna turn on monochrome and in monochrome I am going to dial a little bit of my own look let's see something something like that should look really cool okay and in the layer mixer I'm going to right click I'm gonna select composite mode and I'm gonna choose soft light right over here perfect so now we have very interesting moody and slightly desaturated look just like this so let's check it out what we've done we converted this shot into this so it looks very cinematic it feels like London because I know there's never Sun <coughs> according to my friends from there and that looks very very cool so let's check it out again before and after before and after and now the only thing we can do to sort of verify a good quality grade I'm going to create another node after the master and I'm gonna call this one blacks and what I'm gonna do is go to luma versus saturation and just desaturate the darkest part of the image why because on a cheap color grading uh, when people for example you know push everything to blue or orange or whatever they always affect the shadows and highlights and in a professional color grading you always keep white color as white and black color as black so doing this on the last node sort of verifies and make sure that the black color stays black because uh, earlier I was pushing everything from the midtones into blue so we don't want that. We don't want to have the color that's supposed to be black, blue, because it's a straightforward the signature of the cheap amateur color grading. So this note will verify that black color stays black. And there's a lot of different ways of doing this. For example, and even though our color grading, we actually crash everything black, but just to be safe, just to make sure we can create this, this note, probably even like that like that looks actually really cool and let's check it out before and after see we added a little bit more saturation like this <clears throat> and also possibly what we can do we can actually probably give a little pastel look to our color grading so I'm gonna call this pastel okay and I'm gonna go into the curves so we can probably do this in the curves just like that and I'm gonna shrink a little bit of highlights okay 
just like this and I'm gonna do everything in one node because this is optional this is pretty much if you like that look obviously when you do color grading the director sits next to you the look is predetermined and what I'm showing you guys I'm just trying to teach you a different approach and different techniques how to do different stuff so let's select film convert and we're gonna oops not this uh, where is it okay we're gonna dial this down completely grain I'm gonna choose probably 50 or 50 like this okay I I'm gonna choose 16 millimeter okay like that looks perfect and we can see now we have that really cool expensive blockbuster pastel look so check it out before and after before and after again this is for somebody who likes that look in particular if that look has been predetermined it's not something that you would do for example for a normal clean commercial this is very stylized look and stylized approach okay so Thank you so much for watching, guys. Next part's coming very soon. I'm probably going to do two or three more parts. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.